This attitude that all I need is God is not true. Jesus needed more than God. He had God's favor, but he needed the favor of man in order to execute God's plan for him towards humanity. And may I submit to you that the key to your next level is in somebody's hands. The key to your next level is not in heaven. It's not with angels. It's with somebody. And may I also submit to you that God will use men and women to bless you and the devil will also use men and women to hurt you. And that is what it is. Because the devil knows that God does not operate in isolation or in a vacuum. God works through men to men. He uses men to bless men, men to help men. Because the devil knows that, he will always make sure that he attacks men and deploy men to hurt you, to offend you, so you will never again trust anybody. And I've seen people in church, they love God, they believe in God, but they don't trust anybody. I know preachers who are very successful, very anointed, but they don't trust anybody, they won't relate to anybody, and they will stay that way and die and go to their graves prematurely. They will die prematurely because they think that being gifted, being skillful, being brilliant, being anointed, being successful is all that they need. You are joking. God never made any one of us to be an island to themselves. We are interdependent. You need me and I need you. And everybody needs somebody. Everybody. In your lifetime, you are going to need somebody one way or the other. Can you put your hands together and say yes? I don't care how gifted you are. Hear me. There come a time in all of our lives. When the thing you trust in the most and what you lean on the most fails, whether it's brilliance or it's skill or anointing or prophetic powers or it's money or success or influence or an anointing or in a gifting of money or wealth, there come a day and a time in your life when it fails and it has to fail so that you will see your need of another.